Speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve are now faster and easier to apply, and they let you create smooth, professional-looking transitions with very little effort. In this video, I'll show you how to apply them correctly, along with a few tricks to make them look really professional. Let's get started. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, right-click on the video clip where you want to apply the speed ramp, and select Retime Controls. When you activate it, you'll see some small blue arrows appear on the clip. That means we can now start working with speed changes. Open the keyframes panel, click on it, and a menu will pop up with all the parameters you can animate. The one we're interested in is Retime Speed, which we've already enabled on the clip. All right, now we're going to start adjusting the speed in different parts of the video. First, we choose the exact point in the video where we want to change the speed. Place the playhead right on that frame, click the small black arrow, and select Add Speed Point. You'll see that the point has been added on the clip, and a keyframe also appears in the Retime Speed track in the keyframe panel. We're going to make this part of the video play faster. So let's add another speed point a bit later. At the bottom of the clip, you'll see it says 100%. That's the current playback speed. To speed up this section, click the little black arrow next to the percentage and select Change Speed. I'll set it to 800%. If we play it back, you'll see the video starts at normal speed and right at the point we marked, it speeds up by a factor of 8. Now we just start adding speed points in the section we want to modify and adjust the speed to our liking. Let's see how it looks. If you need to move the speed points, it's really simple. Click on the bottom part of the marker and drag it left or right. This won't change the speed, it just shifts the timing of the change. Now, if you click on the top part of the speed marker and move it, you're actually changing the speed. If you drag it to the left, the speed increases. If you drag it to the right, the speed decreases. This method is super useful if you want to go beyond 800% because that's the maximum value allowed by the change speed option. Now, if we play the video, we'll see that the transitions between speed changes are really abrupt. To make them smoother and more natural, we need to create speed ramps. To do that, go back to the keyframes menu. By default, we're in the Parameters tab, but if you click the icon on the left, you'll open the keyframe curves. From here, we can create and fine-tune our speed ramps. As you can see, the speed jump is way too harsh. It goes from 100% to 1200% in a straight line. To smooth it out, select all the speed points you've created and simply click the Ease In and Out icon. And just like that, we've got basic speed ramps in place. To make the ramp even smoother and more gradual, move the side handles, those small circles, and stretch the curve. You'll see the speed change become way more progressive. Repeat the same process for all your speed points. You can adjust the ramp however you like. Personally, I recommend pushing it to the maximum so the transition looks as smooth as possible. And that's it. As you can see, everything flows much better now and the transitions are way smoother. But we're not done yet. There's one more crucial step, adding motion blur to make the speed effect feel more realistic. And the best part? You can do this in both the free version and DaVinci Resolve Studio. The process is a bit different depending on which version you're using. We're only going to apply motion blur to the fast motion segments so it doesn't affect the rest of the clip. Grab the blade tool, and make a cut at the start and end of each sped up section. This way, we isolate those segments from the rest of the video. You can use the curves in the keyframes panel to see exactly which part of the video are sped up. That'll help you place your cuts more precisely. Perfect. Now that we've isolated the fast motion sections, we're going to apply motion blur only to those clips. Open the effects panel and once inside the Open FX category, look for the Motion Blur effect. Here it is. Just drag it on to the first sped up clip. Then repeat the same process for the rest. All right, 
you'll see a light motion blur has already been applied. Let's select one of those clips and open the inspector panel to tweak the settings. I'll toggle the effect off and on so you can see the difference before and after. Much better, right? Let's take it a step further. In the motion estimation type, switch from faster to better quality. And finally, I recommend increasing the motion blur range so it's more noticeable. As you can see, now the difference really stands out. All that's left is to apply those same settings to the other fast motion clips. This is the easiest way to apply motion blur, using the built-in motion blur effect, which comes with DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid version. But don't worry, like I mentioned earlier, there's a workaround for the free version too. I'll leave the tutorial for that method pinned in the comments of this video. Now, I'm sure that super slow motion speed ramp you saw at the beginning of the video caught your eye. Well, if you've got DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can create that same effect really easily. Normally, if you slow your footage down too much, say to 25% speed, you'll run into an issue. There aren't enough frames and the video will stutter. But even if your footage was recorded at 25 or 30 frames per second, DaVinci Resolve Studio lets you create super slow motion speed ramps without any of that stuttering. Go to the Inspector panel and look for the Retime and Scaling section. Click on it to expand the menu. Under the Retime Process setting, select Optical Flow. Right below that, under Motion Estimation, you'll see several options. The ones at the top offer lower quality, while the ones at the bottom are improved versions designed to create much smoother slow motion. I recommend choosing Enhanced Better, or even AI Speed Warp Better, as long as your computer can handle it and doesn't explode, because you'll need a decent graphics card. Now, if we play the video, you'll see that the slow motion section plays back smoothly with no stutter or choppiness. And for those of you who made it to the end of the video, here are some bonus tips that might come in handy. You can copy the speed curves you've created and apply them to a different clip. It's super easy. Just right click on the clip with the speed ramps and select copy. Then go to the clips where you want to apply the same ramps right-click and choose Paste Attributes. In the window that appears, simply check the box for Retime Effects and click Apply. You've applied the exact same speed ramps to another video. You can also add keyframes directly from the keyframes menu. Just click on the Add Keyframes icon and then click where you want to add them. From this same panel, you can also speed up or slow down sections of the clip though I personally recommend doing it the way I showed you earlier. Also, you can view the parameters menu and the curve editor at the same time. Just click the undock icon and move the keyframes panel wherever you want, resizing it as needed. Way more convenient. Is there any effect or technique you'd like to learn? Let me know in the comments so I can keep it in mind for future videos. And don't forget, there's also a free DaVinci Resolve course here on YouTube where I walk you through the most important features of the program step-by-step step in a clear and simple way. Check it out. See you in the next video.